After a successful holiday season for retailers, shoppers can still take advantage of some good deals. Today is one of the biggest shopping days of the year. And here to talk about what we can do to get some of those discounts, we have the owner of the Stock Swish, Melissa Armo. Before I get to that, though, Melissa, thank you for joining us today. I Hi. want to talk about just the consumer confidence. We're talking about this market sell-off, and yet people are flocking to stores. Yeah, it hasn't really seemed to affect the average consumer. People are out, they're feeling good, they're feeling good about their lives, they're feeling good about the holidays, and they're out spending money. I guess we'll see what happens come January when people get their credit card bills, but for right now, people are spending money, and they've been spending money ever since Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and all throughout the month of November. Okay, and Melissa, I, I'm actually very excited about this next question just because I love a deal. Like I'm, I'm obsessed. I most likely will try to sneak away a little bit throughout the day today because I'm working long and then go get some stuff and then come back. So where <laughs> can I get the deals today? Well, it depends where you want to go, but I will tell you this. This period right now between now and January 1st is huge for retailers because they're trying to unload a lot of their inventory. You are going to get great deals on things. You're going to get good deals. Even a designer brands and Neiman Marcus has about 50 five percent off. Nordstrom has their half a year annual sale and again free ship. And then you have stores like Models is offering 25% off Nike. Target has 70% off clearance. This is a good time to buy winter items for winter coats. And Nike, for some reason, is 25% off at a lot of places, 25% off at Macy's on Nike. And Macy's also has 20%, 15%, and 10% depending on how much you spend. Most of the, the stores that you just mentioned, I'm just curious, is it only today or is it this going to be a week-long sale? No, these stores are running it to uh, until summer till 1229, summer till January 1st. So you definitely have to check. But I would say between now and the end of the weekend is when you want to get out. Make sure that you get something. And also, I would say, don't even wait. Because if there's something that's on sale and it's 70% off, they may only have a couple of your sizes. Uh, just speaking about, you mentioned some of these online sales and free shipping. Uh, Adobe Analytics is predicting that for every six dollars you spend during the holiday season, one dollar is going to go to the on or as online sales essentially. So, what does this mean for malls and brick and mortar stores? Well, I think right now actually it's probably going to be a busier time than online for retail stores after Christmas because remember, sometimes you didn't get something you want, you want to buy it, you want to go in, or you want to return it, or you have a gift card. So, this is a better time for brick and mortars after Christmas than you've seen in the cyber sales or the Black Fridays where people were doing a lot of online. I think you're going to see a lot of retailers busy. Macy's, Bloomingdale's, these stores are going to be packed. Well, not to be a negative Nancy or anything, but we're, we talked about consumer confidence. These stores are going to be packed. But isn't consumer debt just climbing higher and aren't most Americans using their credit cards to buy all of these goods? Well, some people do use their credit cards, some people don't. But honestly, when you have a credit card, if you're going to go out and you're going to spend, look at how much your limit is, try to put any sales that you have on the cheapest interest rate cards. And also, a lot of these have 0% maybe for 30 days. So you can try to piggyback it and buy something on the 0% for 30 day in one card and then flip it and do a, put it to the next card on the next month to try to give yourself more time to spend it. Some of these retailers also have bonus points if you buy something on the card. Bloomingdale's, Macy's, Neiman's, all of these have their own store credit cards and sometimes you get extra bonus points per cards if you buy stuff on those cards. So it's not as bad as you think, but yes, obviously you shouldn't overspend more than you can afford, but it is the holidays. One of the tricks that I realized while shopping is that if you put it in your online cart, you leave it there for a day or two. Sometimes you get an email with a discount. So that's one of my tricks, but I got to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us, Melissa. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I think stock investors could use some tips, Christina, <laughs> because it's a, it's pretty uh, brutal. The S&P 500 is just six or seven points away from bear market territory. This morning, S&P futures are higher by 12 points. Dow up 106.